welcome back to some more throne and liberty and hello everyone if you're watching this right now then i am actually on a final vacation for the year for my birthday uh right now this is going to be premiering live and then afterwards it is going to play the entire throne and liberty playthrough back to back until pretty much i get back now if you're watching just the video itself of course that's not going to happen it's just going to be the video it's just going to play and then when it's done it's over um but we're going to play as usual and then from there uh it'll go into the full series playthrough back to back so if you want something to leave on in the background this is perfect for that if not that's perfectly fine if you're playing alongside hey whatever works for you but we got some stuff to do we got some upkeep and uh, I'm gonna try to knock that out, and then we'll we'll take it from there. We'll talk about some of the plans I have, and all that fun stuff. So, also, I know some of you are probably gonna be jumping in. Hello, hi, chat. I can't see your names because obviously this isn't actually live right this second. But hello, hi there, chatter. Thank you for being here again. Or hello, uh, lurkers again as well. Changing it up a little bit, you know. Go ahead and set this for eight hours. And then uh, let's get back out there. So, we are still using the uh, the wand and the bow, which I have seen is pretty common for a lot of people uh, that are trying to do heals. I didn't realize that there is really... There, there are some people trying to use uh, staffs as well from what i've heard um but this has been my my kind of go-to uh i don't know what to hold on let me see but i know staff is more of like a damage dealer everything is maxed except for this okay let me actually do that one instead then let's get accessories and then from there Let's go collect any. We'll do a little bit of cooking. Man, it's fairly active welcome, today. Have a look around. Take a peek. It's a random time for it to be active. Your bag to get heavy, put in store. Mm. Sundry's merchant. You could need. Let's pick up all of the daily egg, the daily rye, and the daily honey. Purchase all those. War's about to begin. Are you sure you're not missing? And then let's do some quick cooking here. I may actually queue for a dungeon. Or actually, oh, wait, no, never mind. We're not going to do that. And I'll show you why in a second here. Uh, essentially, there's a new spot that opened up. Oh, and we need salt. Salt we collect from doing the. Oh, man, I didn't realize I ran out of so much. I have tons of vegetable, vegetable oil, which is good. Okay, so this island opened up for uh, my server. So that was, it looks like yesterday or yeah, yesterday, the time of recording this. Um, this opened up. So we have the Sorodoma Island. It's a level 50 island. And then later today, uh, this Silius's or Silas's Abyss Floors five and six will open too. Uh, but we probably won't be able to get to that, unfortunately. Uh, so let's actually try going over there. Let's go to the new island. Last time we were doing some of these. Uh, actually, daybreak. Let me untoggle this one. wherever that is right there I'm guessing this is probably the best way of getting to the island I don't know any other way yeah it looks like it's got to be on that ledge right there right ahead um so 
I know a lot of you have been coming through asking when the next episode is, and I'm trying to do my best here, of course, since I'm limited on time. But I will still be uh, trying to do some recordings here and there, but it may slow down a little bit, I will say. Um, I mean, as if it hasn't already, but it may sl slow down some more. By the time I come back, I will be back to streaming on the 15th again, hopefully. And that is also the day that New World releases in its uh, Eternum update, which is also an MMO by Amazon again. Funny enough, it's weird that they kind of, uh, well, published by Amazon again. But that one is not free to play. That one is a buy to play. It is releasing on consoles too. I played it when it initially came out on PC uh, like four years ago, I think. It was like 2019. Um, but I think that's like your traditional like $60 game, but there's no like pay to win or anything. The only thing you can buy in that game is, is literally just like, uh, the most you can buy is cosmetics. As far as I remember, I don't think. So that, like I said, that drops on the 15th. I am going to be doing some live streams of that. That's my goal. And then depending on how that goes and how fulfilling it is uh going back to that again will depend on whether i continue to do that as a live stream for like a week or two or if we change it into a i'm trying to figure out how to get up here or if we change it into a series similar to this uh so we shall see on that that is the I'm going to have to wait before I, I, you know, confirm anything. But like I said, I'm still going to be logging in to this when I can. I'll still, like, spend an hour recording an episode. I'm trying to find out how to get over to this spot. It almost looks like you can get up there. But it just might be at a slower pace. But I've been saying it throughout my entire playthrough. At the end of the day, I am variety. MMOs are meant to keep your time for forever. And I understand that. I get that. So in these days, you know, being limited on time, you got to just do what you can, you know? Because at the end of the day, I'm probably like a lot of you that just plays games when you have your free time. Except I schedule out my, my free time to play games. Or try to, at least. Um, so, but well, that's what I like doing a lot of variety. So I, I know it's been, this probably been one of the, I, this and like once human have been two of my best performing series that I've done. And I'm sure there will be plenty more over the years. There's no stopping it, but there definitely reaches a point where you kind of, yeah. You can only do so much. Oh god. Oh yeah, and somebody did say, I know it's a random time, but apparently healing does actually affect your... I'm just gonna help this person kill this. Apparently healing does actually help you get loot from the boss. I, I mean, it was just a comment, so there's no confirmation for that, but that's what somebody said, and I mean, hey, that's, that's pretty cool that it is fully the case. This island seems interesting. Reptilian sentry. I kind of wish they would tell you, like... Not just level 50 for this island, but more of like a... Oh, it's level 50 and uh, combat power... I don't know, two, 2,500. But like, oh, it's level 50 and... Uh, this, you know, or that. Oh, look, there's the giant whale. Uh, 
Gigantrite. That's so cool. Rare parchment. Okay. I try going over here. I'm assuming you have to get all the way up there to get the waypoint. No way, is it down there at all? Maybe you have to be on top of that thing or get all the way to the top of the mountain and post down here. Because that looks like it might reach over there. Man, that's so cool every time. I just, just look. Every time it blows me away. I mean, even this island looks pretty awesome too. It's hard to do a lot of this stuff solo. Um, a lot of people down here. They say anyone got got room? Anyone got room? Don't know walled. I guess not. That's fine. It's still dropped. McFlurry and fries. I like that name. Nothing there. I wonder if it's based on the amount of damage that you do to a group or if it's something else. Can't see anything. I don't think we got any drops there. I keep pressing R because that's what the basic attack was in Dragon Age the Inquisition. Okay. I'm going to see if uh, I'm going to invite somebody. Somebody like Flurry. See if they got a party. Nice. Okay, there we go. Might as well get a party going. See if anybody else is in a party here. Probably go get our own group. 
Over here. Over here. McFlurry, over here. Over here. Right here. Right there. Right there. Yeah, there we go. Now, if somebody else comes to attack our group. Oh, God. They're pulling it in. <laughs> One thing that I, I haven't tried doing yet that uh, I've, I've learned about recently, too, is trading. Uh, not trading as in, like, trading gear, but trading, I guess, taking traits from one piece of gear and implementing it on another gear piece. I learned about that recently uh, from a... Uh, subreddit post that was suggesting that you trade everything uh, for blue before you actually swap onto purple gear. Now, I do have some leftover equipment that I could do that with, actually. So, I, I might try doing that. Uh, maybe? Oh, we'll see. They invite this person if they're not by themselves. They, they might not be. Okay, they left. And I'm all by myself again. Maybe that's a sign. I go try to do this. Oh my god, I'm doing it again! All right, let's go. Let's go see if we can actually. Let's see if I can upgrade my gear like that at all. And I would. You know what? We're, we're gonna try queuing. We're gonna do it in a second here. So this is where you go to do it, from my understanding, and then you go to trade. And then I believe so. Max health, unlock, crate, select. Oh, so you use these. You can select and open or convert crates on equipment that has not been unlocked yet. But you need a hundred. But I think there's a way you can transfer. That's it. So how do you get this material? How to acquire weekly missions? So we go here, unlock trade. Codex. Gathering lithograph book. So you can get it from the codex. You can also get it from these mystic portal thing. And then you can also get it from, ah, I see, I see, from completing these, the lithographs. Ah, and then this would, you can either convert it or upgrade it. Great conversion. Man, I do not have... Okay, so I don't have any of those. <laughs> Essentially is what the game is telling me. Unlock, need material. Okay. Man. Can we upgrade this? I think we have enough to do this finally. Nice.
Not bad. All right. So now I know how that works. But let's go to the... No, not to the secret dungeon. Mail. We have things to collect here. Special delivery. Claim 50 newest. Oh, look at that. Downtime make good. So we got actually a bunch of those. To help out the guild. Just do my part. Battle pass. Claim anything here. Claim all rewards. Perfect. All right, let's uh, let's try queuing. Let's go for one we haven't done yet, like this guy. Oh shoot! No, 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 no! Not, en not enter. Party matchmaking. We're gonna select this. Okay, yeah, we we've got plenty right now. Press step. This is instant there. Well, hope for the best here. I'll do what I can. Let's go to this. Okay, we're right at the beginning. Nice. Still doing it. What is that? Oh, there's a lever. Hold the lever. selected to parties that way I can keep up to date on what's happening with them or if somebody says something we got menu in our party Doing fine so far, but this also is the early stages. Let's see if we can actually get through this one. Explode. 
trying to moderate the amount of uh, mana I use for each of these, too. That way I don't just drain myself of mana. Like I do in some fights. What do you do? Do you run to somebody? Oh no! Oh, it kills them! <laughs> huh. Well, I guess we learned how that works. The good thing about waiting like a few days before actually running the, these dungeons again is because it gives time for the people that do hit level 50 and just jump right into co-op dungeons it gives those people time to actually spec up or you know upgrade their their combat power and i think now or i don't know if we're just in a good party or like a decent party or if we're doing fine with this or maybe my luck has just been really bad with the parties i've gotten myself into lately I did it again. Okay, not too bad. Grab the mysterious note. Feel the flame's power. I should just unbind that. Oh, don't walk into the fire. Oh my god, I did it again. <laughs> okay, okay.
nice. Got the noble eagle morph now. Man, dropping down two of those, uh, the Fountain of Life was pretty good. All right, Duke Magna. How does this work? First of all, let me take a screenshot. Boom. Uh, anything special? Okay, I guess not. All right, let's do it. No. Oh, okay. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I can't move. I, I cannot move. I cannot move. Okay, move. What is happening? Why are we going up here? Oh, we went up here. Oh, I see. I see. Because if you leave the area, it revives them too. Okay. But what the heck? <laughs> They're rubber banding. I pressed Q to, to dodge, but I was not fast enough. It's open again. Oh, it's too busy looking at everyone else.
How's this work? Oh no, they froze. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> I don't know what you're supposed to do with that. <laughs> I think you're supposed to just run. But you trade the time to other people, and then we both died at the same time. Oh, do we go through here? Oh, we are close. We'll still in there. Oh, we go through this across the bridge. Wow, that's convenient. Super close. Give it another shot. Give it another shot. By the way, once again, if you guys are enjoying this, leaving likes help out a ton wherever you're watching. Oh, man. I appreciate all the support on uh, Throne and Liberty. And by the way, if you are watching this during the live stream, of course, uh, I did say it earlier, but I am going to be away. So during this stream, I, oh, okay, you come to these and then I think you uh, purge it. Oh, I see. But anyways, if you're watching this actually live, then this is not actually live. Uh, because I am away on vacation for my birthday. If you're watching the YouTube video, then it's just another YouTube video like anything else. But once this episode finishes playing, uh, if you're watching this live, then it will be playing the entire Throne and Liberty playthrough from part one pretty much until I get back. Uh, and I'll be returning on the 15th. So it's going to be a long, long episode or series or live stream over a few days. But uh, where do we go? Where do we go? Where do we go? That one. Oh, shoot. I, I was supposed to get out the, the thing. Okay. Priority, get out of the circle. Priority, get out of the circle. You guys have to activate both red uh, on that phase. A person stuck in the middle is dead. Uh, wait, so maybe it wasn't my fault. Maybe it wasn't my fault. First time here, I'm just following y'all. But yeah, it's going to play the, uh, the other episodes anyways. And then I'll loop back to this one, but it's like 40 hours of content, if not more at this rate, with how much streams we did. So perfect to leave on in the background or if you're playing yourself, whatever works for you works for me. 
Oh god, I'm I got this up. Okay. God. Come on, come on, come on! Okay, got out of that. But if you are watching this live, hello! Hi! Hope you're doing well. I talked a little bit earlier about what the plans are kind of going forward. Uh, we are going to still... I'm still going to try to record when I can and, and uh, when I have the time to. But things may slow down a bit more with New World releasing and so on. But the game is free to play now, so almost anybody can jump into it. The blue and red. You have to actually activate two of these. All right, he's down to 50%. Nice. To that okay nice saved seven percent Almost got him. Three percent. And there it is. Okay, not bad. Come on, give me something good. Give me something. Okay, we got an am armlet. Complete the dimensional circle of Butcher's Canyon. Jeez. We got it. We got it. That was probably one of the fastest dungeons I've done so far, too. One of. That sound effect can be so so scary if you're in the middle of one. Because <laughs> then, you know, somebody left. And now everyone's just kind of, like, fending for themselves. Okay. Do we, um, check my inventory, my character, but, okay, okay, all right, let's see, I did actually get more specializations here, oh, that's what leveled up, my longbow, are these easy to reset if you wanted to? Not really. Buff duration, magic duration. Damn, should have went up there. I mean, it's not too late. Can I? Hold on, let's see. Oh, initial skill. Yes. Required cost, 40,000. Oh, that's not bad at all. Then. Okay, let's go this. Let's go support. Since that's what my primary thing is these days. 
Doesn't help for a solo, but it is what it is. Movement speed. Buff duration. Anti-magic arts. So you have support check and sniping. My wand is in recovery. That's good. Okay. And then we did get some books to use to upgrade here. Ooh, can I, uh, I don't think we'll have enough. Oh, so close. So close. That 95. Okay, what about... Hmm. I think if anything, so that's my number one ability. We don't have enough to upgrade this though. Convert skills. And upgrade swift healing. I'm not gonna have a lot. Yeah. That's all I can do there. And then what do we have here to nothing? Okay. That looks good. So we got the bracelet or the wristlet, armlet, whatever you want to call it. Mana regen. Ooh, wait, that's actually kind of good though. Okay. All right. Hold on now. Do we get this too? We got the uh, astral armlet. When did we? I don't know when we got this. The guardian fork, melee defense, melee endurance. I mean, I'm definitely gonna keep the other one. Let's see. To so say if I go into this astral armlet, can we transfer anything into it? We can. If I transfer these locked items. I would much rather have that over this. Pressing a million thing. And I'm not trying to press. Uh okay, so say if I go to this. Are we unlock? Inventory. Where we unlock it. You can't right click it. I'm right clicking to go to settings. None of this is working. You left click it. Unlock. Okay, and then now we go to this. Then we go to this. Wait, now it's letting me. Oh, it's because I was wearing it. I see, I see. How much does it cost if I were to do this? 460. That's wild. No, 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 no. What about trading? So if I go here, but we would still need that other trait conversion stone. Yeah. That's where we would need that. I'll transfer, I'll take this, but I'll transfer just one of these. 41,000, that's fine. Yes. This is a necklace. We're not gonna swap the necklace, at least. Now. I'm going to lock this one so that way we don't get rid of it. 
And let's go into the codex. Lithograph book. That's what I'm trying to get to. Holy. <laughs> okay. So we do... Wait, we got these? Resolute Crusader Gauntlets? Added attack speed. We also have those. Eh. I think I'll hold on to them for right now. Just because I don't exactly know where I'm going just yet. But... For right now, we are actually going to end this episode right here. So again, if you guys ended up enjoying this, leave a like, really help out a ton. If you are watching the live stream, then enjoy the part one episode is about to play. And then it's going to go through all of the episodes until I get back to my vacation. And then I, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll pick it up. We'll be jumping right into some new world. If you are watching the video, then this is just a video. That's it. And, uh, Go check out any other episodes I put out. Probably by that point, I'll post uh, or I'll be streaming New World. So whenever this plays as just a video and not like the full live stream. Yeah, that's that's the plan. But for now, that's it. Thank you for watching. Thanks for being here. And uh, if you guys have enjoyed this series, then I, I really do appreciate it. I'll jump back on when I get the chance to. Go in the Discord if you want announcements anytime I go live or post new videos like this. And I will see you all in the next one. Peace.